previously. I have to. Um, I don't want to spoil, but I, I, I'm not telling you why. You'll know Beyond why. Master Chef. You will know why later. Last episode. The home cooks face the bizarre. I can't tell you why. Challenge. I'll tell you later. I have no idea what any of these ingredients are. Oh, they're so bad. This may be the most difficult mystery box in the history of Master Chef. And Joe's mom, Lydia Bastianich. Also from 44 to 46. It's from 44 to 46. Oh my God! Was the guest judge in one of the toughest elimination tests of the season. Thank you for nothing. As Howard, do the honorable thing, became the latest casualty in the MasterChef kitchen. Tonight, Hollywood comes to an end. Studio challenge. Our remaining 14 home cooks are at the world famous Paramount Studios in Hollywood, California, for an exciting behind the scenes wow, team wow. challenge. This is so cool. Some of my favorite movies was filmed like right here, you know, like Forrest Gump, The Godfather. So I'm like a little kid right now. Wow. I think we're gonna do pretty good today. This is Hollywood, baby. What the hell are we doing here? We walk into a hallway and I look around and it clicks instantly. I'm like, holy <laughs> We are on the set. Glee. Glee. Welcome to one of the most famous sound stages anywhere in the world. And if you haven't guessed it already, we are standing in the choir room of Glee. <laughs> Glee. That's right. Never watched the show before. I watched the grassy though. You look like you just stepped off the set for Glee. Did you watch the show? I do. How cool is this? It's insane. Today, okay, you relax. will be serving lunch to over 100 members of the cast and crew of Glee. Wow. <laughs> Chrissy and Jesse, you two had the best dishes in the previous challenge. So you are team captains today for this incredible challenge. Come over and pick up your aprons, please. My passion from food is definitely from my parents and how I was raised. They're both foodies who love to travel. My dad was a pro athlete, so I'm very competitive. Chrissy, okay. your first time as team captain? Uh-oh. You've been on the losing team how many times? Both times. Both times. Jesse, this is your second time as team captain. Yes. Have you ever lost a challenge? I have not lost a team wow. challenge yet. I'm a single mom. I'm doing this Most for one me. reason and one reason only, to win and to get a better life for myself and my son. Well, I got some news for you. Today, you will not be picking your teams. Why not? We decided to bring in somebody to pick them for you. Oh, lovely. Please, welcome. The actor of Glee. Shut up. Shut up. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hello, everybody. Jane Lynch walks in the room. I was like, oh. <gasps> All of you welcome the amazing Jane Lynch. And I was like, who the fuck? So red team member uh, captain is Jesse, and blue team captain is Chrissy. Chrissy, all right. A little bit of attitude here. <laughs> A little sweetness here. So I'm going to call you Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> and I'm going to separate you into two groups based on my perception of your beauty or your beastiness. <laughs> Okay. All right. There's my first beast. Get over there. All right. <laughs> and there's my beauty with the gorgeous glasses. Thank you. Get yourself a red apron. She okay, sent cute. Brie over at first, and Brie was on my team the first time I won, so I'm okay with that. That's a beastie sweater. <laughs> Get yourself a blue apron, beastie. Well, that's sweet. Look at her with her cute little face. Get Who yourself a red. Who the fuck is that? Hey, beast. Get yourself a blue. I don't want Beamy on my team because he's a complete idiot. I just feel like he's he's got to tank my team, man. Under that composure right there, there's a beast. No. I've worked with Lynn every team challenge. Okay. We're undefeated. Lynn goes now to the opponent team, and I'm screwed. Funky hair, you think that I'm going to make you a beast? You're wrong. I see your inner beauty. <laughs> thank you, okay. thank you. Black guy, beauty. <laughs> there you go. Smiley guy over there, I see your inner beast. Get yourself a blue. I, I don't know what to make of you, so you're gonna just be beauty. <laughs> oh, you're a motorcycle mama, aren't you? No. <laughs> well, you are to me, so get yourself a blue apron. There we go. 
All right, so you're into your groups. Are you happy with your groups? My Luca? I'm not happy with our groups. <laughs> I'm not happy with them at all. Jane takes a step back and looks at the teams, and she's not happy. Yes, because neither am I. What do you think it is? Well, Beastie in the blue sweater isn't working for me. She's really a beauty. I need for you to go over to the uh, beauty side and change with this girl right here who's pretending to be wow. a beauty. Beth, swap with Natasha. There please. you go. Sheru! I think there is a beast it's Giroux, among dude. you, beauties. And I think it's the guy with the funky hair. Johnny. <laughs> Johnny, okay. switch with... The really sweet Asian. <laughs> yes. Well done, Jane Lynch. Two thumbs up on that one. That helped a lot. Wow. Something just snapped into place Jesus like a chiropractic Christ. adjustment. And these are my two teams. Thank you. You're welcome. We're excited. I look forward to seeing you for lunch. I can't wait. OK, I'm going to go get a pedicure. You all take it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye bye now. Right, red team, blue team, are you ready? Yes, chef. Yes, Let's go. The teams now head out to the oh. Paramount Studios backlot to find out what they will be cooking for over 100 cast and crew members of the hit show, Glee. Today, you'll have to make Guys, three I have to a whole minute. of oh, their no. regular lunch dishes. You have fried chicken with fries and slaw. Nine After that, you've got a grilled salmon with asparagus and scalloped potatoes. And then vegan lasagna and salad. When the cast or crew members decide what they're eating, they'll have to take one of the same dish from each team. After that, they will be voting on their favorite. The team with the most votes will win this challenge and be safe from elimination. I'm telling you. So, 90 minutes to prepare and one hour to serve. Ready? Yes, yes chef. Sir. Your 90 minutes starts no. now. All right, guys, team up. It's a huge menu that we have to produce in a short amount of time. These are picky eaters. They're the Hollywood types. It has to be restaurant quality. Beth, Eddie, fried chicken. Are you guys cool with the salmon? Yeah, and then we'll do the spare scalp potatoes. What kind of lasagna are you guys thinking? Well, my idea is to grill the vegetable yep. zucchini okay. and eggplant, OK? Yep. And then we put the pesto on top so it gives the flavor. While the red team has decided on a pesto sauce for their vegan lasagna, the blue team has other ideas. OK, do, you want, do we want to do a creamy sauce or a tomato sauce? Not a creamy sauce because we don't. it's vegan. So making a creamy okay. sauce is going to be incredibly difficult. OK, so tomato sauce? Tomato sauce is going to be easy. John, you're good on the coleslaw? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I trust you. These good size for you? Perfect. Under Chrissy's strong leadership, yeah, the some blue characters team moves early, quickly come into back, action. They, they, they get out and they There's come back. There's cornmeal over there. You want to put a little cornmeal in the flour? Give it some yeah. extra crunch? Mm -hmm. All right. I've got Beanie on the fried chicken. Fried, Not fried chicken easy. Science. I think Beanie can handle this. There's no brown mustard, right? No. Johnny is making coleslaw. Jordan's on the salmon. Bethy and James are on the vegan lasagna. And Natasha is with me, working on the scalloped potatoes. Everybody OK? Yes. I mean, honest to god, this is such smooth sailing right now. It's unbelievable. In this challenge, time is of the essence. While Chrissy's blue team are cool, calm, and collected, Jessie and her red team are feeling the pressure to catch up. We're going to need to go a lot faster. I start off doing the scalloped potatoes, going as fast as I can, and... Red team, red team. Guys, guys, they... I got it, I got it, I, I did it. I can't show this. She gets hurt badly. Yes, red team. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just be careful for two seconds, OK? You on the mandolin. Yes, chef. OK, one's down already. Just slow down. Yes, chef. OK? And use the guard. Yes, chef. Were you using the guard? I was, and then I quit for one second to talk, and... <sighs> no good. While red team captain Jesse remains on the bench, both teams forge ahead, prepping lunch for over 100 cast and crew members of the hit show, Glee. Guys, we got to move. We got to get the I chicken think already marinated. She ran her finger we need to get that salmon going. Fucking, and while the, the red team is still struggling with their prep, the blue team, led by Captain Chrissy, is already cooking a number of their lunch items. Chrissy? Yes? Is the lasagna in the oven? Yeah, we've got two in. Great. Lonnie's in the oven, chef. What about Lonnie's the potatoes? In the oven. Potatoes, potatoes are in the oven, in the chef. Oven for Brilliant. About 20 minutes. Everything is in the oven. The lasagna's getting done. Our chicken's ready to go in. I mean, I just. Oh, lasagna? Well, is that much time an hour? Fuck no. What kind no of seasoning shopping. you got in there? I got, um, I got a lot of the spices. I got the seasoned salt. I got, got a nice little, little heat to it. Joe yeah. comes over. He's telling me the chicken tastes good. I feel that I'm earning my team's respect. It's going to be a winner. People are going to love this chicken. All right, y'all, catch me up to speed. Where do you need me? With just 20 minutes to go Even before an hour lunch 30, service, though, dude. red team captain Jesse is back in action. 
But the troubles well, continue need a as time. Gordon need spots a serious problem with their soy marinated salmon. Just turn that piece of salmon for me, please. That's not burnt underneath there, is it? Well, this, yeah, the skin is coming oh, off. Oh, shit! The salmon is sticking to the barbecue like <laughs> to a blanket. Who oiled the salmon? What I did. the my, fuck? My fault, it's, it's, it's gone. Said, please it's, test it's, one. It's all gone. No, myself. Yeah, you no, you can't use Test one. The salmon at this point has a lot of marinade on it, and it just sticks to the grill just like that. What's in the glaze? Soy what? ginger. Soy Honey. ginger. That's what's causing the salmon skin to stick. What a disaster. That's <laughs> oh, shocking. Guys, think about putting them on the flat top. Forget about the grill. Jesse. Yes, sir. This is to think a little bit. Nobody's thinking. We have to cook with our brain as well. Yeah, the red is wow. gone. There's no shit. Unbelievable. I mean, red team are so fragmented. I mean, it's almost well, on the verge of collapse. It's done. Lynn and Luca have just screwed 30 portions of salmon. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I just a complete disaster. The blue team, uh, they're doing a aged balsamic reduced dressing for the salmon. Oh, nice. So, yeah. Chicken's already fried. They're getting it put in the oven to finish it off. Oh, I'm, uh, potatoes I'm, have been going for a long now. time. At this point, the blue team really looks like they're firmly in control. Oh, the flavors are delicious. God. Chrissy's doing a great job. I think the red team was dealt a big blow when Jesse cut herself and stepped out. Do you think red team could turn it around, though? Uh, no. I mean, time is not their friend right now. Only flavors could help out the red team if they pull out some incredible mm -hmm. flavors. Red team, blue team, five minutes to go. Five minutes, y'all. The salad's good. Should it go down here? The salad should go down with the lasagna. I definitely don't want to run out of the food, you know? And I don't think we're going to run Wait, out. I'm going to glaze them one more time before I put them on. Okay, perfect. When we put the well, salmon on the flat she's top, still, she's still they good. look great. They look beautiful. Red team, blue team. Wait, they the come back. The crew clean. I've just finished the last scene, and they're on their way for lunch, guys. Let's go, guys. We good? We good? Thank you. Guys, they're coming. They're coming. Come on. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five. It's not, it's not that it's graphic. I can't show three, it. I get back. Two, it is what it is. one. Time up, guys. Welcome, 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 everybody. All right, help your. You guys for holding you. up? You guys holding together? Oh, we're trying here. Should I just like throw this red plate away? Yeah. Yeah. The Glee cast and crew lunch has begun. Once someone chooses a lunch item from the blue team, vote for blue. They will get the same item from the red team, and then vote for their favorite. It's a red team, it's obviously gonna be better. Yes. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Hope you love it. Go, red team. <laughs> Why is the green? For today's lunch, the blue team is serving a spicy Latin fried chicken with a jalapeno ranch sauce. Check with it. Check with it. While the Check with it said that whenever uh, uh, homes or, or, or you go to somebody's house and they make fries, they're all with dog shit. The red team is betting on a traditional like, southern butter dog shit coating. Hello. We'll make them so good when they're not made at home. Yeah. For the salmon entree, blue team is serving a balsamic marinated salmon, while the red team has an Asian soy Can glaze. Can you set up? Oh, look, Which salmon's you. better? Taste-wise, the red. Was that? Blue salmon, to me, it feels like they just dumped it's a bunch hours. of vinegar on it. Ouch. <laughs> and for the You're vegan for sure. lasagna, the blue team's version has a spicy tomato sauce, while nice. the red team's has a pesto sauce. I really like that. I'm the only vegetarian in the competition, Are so you? thank you for trying that. Thank you. Eddie, I need Wait. chicken. Urgently, chicken, let's go. Speed up a little bit, change gear, out of neutral. Sorry, that was what? As the red and blue teams rush to get food served to the cast and crew of Glee, neither had anticipated the number of orders for These one of the three in. entrees. I see a lot of fried chicken out there. I hope we don't run out. Do we have any drumsticks ready? Can we persuade anyone to come over here and try our salmon? It's really great. No chicken. way. I'm from Alabama. I want my fried you. chicken. We are currently waiting on chicken to be cooked. We just assumed it'd be like a chicken, a salmon, a lasagna, a couple more chickens. Like, it'd be more spread out. But everyone seemed to want chicken. Why didn't you get any red chicken? Uh, they ran out or something. They ran out. Oh, my god. So. If you didn't get a dish from the red, you can't vote for the red. You have to vote for the blue. Have no choice. No choice. You I have no choice. I have to vote for the blue. As both teams race to get more chicken cooked, things are about to go from bad to worse for the blue team, as Joe discovers a serious problem with their fried chicken. Hey, guys. All fried chicken. How is it? Yeah, it's raw. Good. Raw? It's raw. raw? Oh! It's like blood in it. Yeah. Oh, my God. I got to take it. Wait, one. what the fuck? Guys. Guys. Raw chicken. Raw chicken. Get this chicken cooked because you're gonna get someone sick out there if we serve them raw chicken. Sick, and you're gonna get him killed. The thigh is raw. Bottom line, you can't serve raw chicken. It's deadly. Is that raw as well? Yeah. Oh, guys, 
We need to keep that in longer, Beanie. You gotta keep them Beanie, a little deeper. I tell you, I need more time on the chicken. What the f is going on here? Like, what are you doing up there, Beanie? Now I start panicking. Beanie, you've got to stay in control of that. Otherwise, I swear to God, there'll be an outbreak of salmonella, and we are. Okay, man. It's more than halfway through the Glee Lunch Challenge, and already cast and crew members have started voting for their favorite teams. Perfection. I only got chicken from the blue team, and I'm very sad about it. <laughs> oh, what? While both teams ran out of chicken, red team is now back in the game with a fresh oh. batch. Take that, Luca. There you go, there you go. Chicken hot! But the blue team is still sidetracked since the judges discovered they were serving raw chicken. That, that's raw, raw, though. Hey guys, I'm sure you have what's, what's the problem? I, I, need, the, I need this higher. I, this, this, no, this no thermometer here to find out if I'm going higher or lower. This is one of the reasons why I did not want Beamy on my team. Because Beamy has no idea what he's doing. The blue team is still waiting for their chicken to cook through when Glee cast member Jane Lynch arrives and she wants fried chicken. Hi. Unfortunately, okay, we got the chicken coming, so we're working on it. The most embarrassing thing you can possibly do is run out of food, especially when you're dealing with celebrities. This is ridiculous. Do you have any chicken done, please, guys, please. I don't think it's a little mention, but whatever. Take it, take it, take it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. All right, we're going to get you a nice piece of hot chicken here, OK? All right, let's give God, you a good. good. Any thighs in there? There's a lot right under this fried chicken. The Miss fried chicken plates are definitely going to come back to bite us in the ass. I just hope it's not too bad. There you go. There you go. Thanks so much, ladies. Enjoy. Hi. Don't fried forget about the beauties. Chicken. How are you? Great. How are you? Good. Well, did you have fun? Yes. Did you work well as a team? Yeah, of course. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. Thank you. Because they're miserable over there. <laughs> thank you, guys. Have a great lunch. Thank you. Thank you. Lunch hour for the cast Enjoy and crew of Glee dinner. is coming to a close, and the last diners are finishing up their meals. Uh, chicken's fantastic. The red, red team, team killed it. Killed it. Yeah, in, in a good way. Wow. All right, guys, let's get a table vote. Blue. 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 Red. I don't know what they did with their fried chicken, but I'm confident in what I got here, and I know that what I got is going to be good enough to beat whatever they did Bro, over that there. Bro, it was raw, man. Mm. Uh, I mean, I'm going to give the blue team some love. Yeah, this is I'm changing the bowl. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm so enjoying this, I can't stop eating it. The only thing we can hope for now is that they screwed up more than we did. Yeah. No, we, we, sh we should have started our chicken 20 minutes earlier. With the final vote about to be cast, the question is, which team missed the most fried chicken plates? And how will the other two entrees affect the final tally? All right, blue. Red, red. He's gonna switch, uh, of course. Then. Oh. Today, we asked you to cook an amazing lunch for the cast and crew of Fox's huge hit Glee. One team definitely won the Glee popularity vote today. The winning team was. Reddit. Yeah. Okay. okay the I want to show us all this. This is my set, not yours, I'm in charge. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, of the 127 souls fed, one team received 90 votes, and the other team Bloom. received 37. Bloom. And the winning team is... The Red, Red. <laughs> Shut up, jeez, okay, nice. I'm ecstatic because, for one, it's been the coolest challenge ever, being on the set of Glee, and we won by a Damn. huge margin. So they show Thank all the problems of one team, and you don't win. Red team. 
I, I get a new Swifter. Blue team. Yes, you know what's next. They you show now from the one team. The dreaded pressure test. Both of the other. I'm baffled. Then the other wins. Because we lose. Because we lose by that much. Congratulations! <laughs> I'm just sick of being in pressure tests. Like, I really am. I'm sick of people like Jesse just floating by, never having to be in a pressure test. Let's not let's not lose our cool, though. We what? lost, and you know what I mean? Let's, it is what it is, man. I'm this off. I think I let my team down by not producing more chicken, but really, there was only so much I could do, you know? Only so much. She quit talking shit, man. This is gonna be interesting because when I saved myself, Chrissy went nuts and she thought I was a little bitch for doing that. Now it's Chrissy's turn to be on the hot seat. Let's see how she performs. Yesterday, you had that amazing chance to cook for the cast and crew of Glee. And the blue team, you were not able to handle that glare of the spotlight. The red team, led by Jesse, took full advantage of their big Hollywood moment. Uh, well done. Thank you. Chrissy, what went wrong? The chicken didn't cook. The thighs just weren't done. Who was responsible for the chicken? Right here, Chef. You actually beat the red team hands down. 56 portions of chicken and 30 preferred your chicken. Whoa, now I'm not feeling so responsible. I was a strong asset to my team. Sheesh. Who was responsible for the salmon? Between the red team and the blue team, you served 54 portions of salmon. 50. Two out of 54 preferred the red team salmon. Two votes. You won okay, the dude. chicken and you got okay, destroyed dude. with the salmon. What the f Jordan? You had one job to make that salmon great and you put out a pile of Seven of you competed as a team in your last challenge, but not all of you will be competing in this pressure test. Chrissy? Yes. That decision will be made entirely by you. Alice. Herself and Bad Beanie. The rules are simple. Save as many or as few of your team as you Only like. Bimmy. You must save at least one person and at least two people must compete. Clear? Clear. No, save one. This is my game at this point. I know exactly who I'm targeting. Johnny, step forward. Chrissy, is Johnny safe or into the pressure test? Pressure. Hey, Johnny, go take that stairway to heaven. Thank you. What? Bethy, step forward. Chrissy, upstairs or downstairs? Down. I'll be honest with you, Bethy is a threat to me. I'm keeping her in the pit. James, step forward, please. Kim. Chrissy. I know by keeping him down here, he's going to knock out people that I want to go home. He's staying down here. OK, fair enough. Natasha, step forward, please. Say I guess. She's safe. Yeah, oh. Safe. You wow. said, you said what? Upstairs. I am shocked. Her and I did not she like said each other. What? I have no idea what's going on in her head. I want her to think that I'm on her side. I'm not. You know, that whole keep your enemies closer thing. I got you, Natasha. Beamy, Ladies, step forward, please. What? That makes Chrissy, no sense. Now that you've got the stats and you understood how substantial that chicken was, what are you thinking? I think Beamy did a great job yesterday. But his luck's running out. Beamy stays. Wow. I got the majority of the votes for our team. Talk about a bitch move. Anything that happened yesterday, it doesn't matter to me. He could have a golden goose egg out. I want him going. Jordan, step forward. Upstairs or downstairs? Don't you stand down here. I yeah. gotta get my competition out of here. Step back, please. Chrissy, are you balls enough to stay no. down, no compete shots in the pressure test, or are you staying safe nope. on the balcony? Stay down. Think about it. Stay down. I mean, look at what you did. Sit down. The only thing that comes into my mind is my kid. And my kid would say, you had a chance to save yourself for us, and you didn't take it, and you went home. On that, I can, I'm not going to disappoint my kid. Jordan, any vindication here? I just find it funny how much Josh he had to give me when I did it. They already don't like me, so I really don't care what they think. 
Oh, my nice kids would excuse. Want me to go up them stairs, and that's what I'm doing. What a disgusting guy! Fuck you, bitch! I'm, I can't. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go pee. Chris, I'm gonna say a bunch of bad words. Fuck all that. I'm gonna go pee. Wow. I'm doing this for my son. Oh, right, right. You're the only person who has someone at home that they love that they're doing this for. Got it. Are you ready to get cooking for your lives? Yes, yes chef. chef. The dish that will determine your master chef future. Lemon meringue pie. I've never made lemon meringue pie before. I don't even eat lemon meringue pie. I suck at making lemon meringue pies. The secret is in that base, that nice, firm, salt crust pastry. Then you've got that delicious, acidic lemon curd, and then that baked meringue. And the secret of that meringue is to make sure it doesn't weep. Get it wrong? By a gram of sugar, that can go absolutely pear-shaped. But there's one tiny twist. No lemons. A no lemon meringue pie. That's right. You'll have to make a citrus meringue pie with any citrus fruit other than lemons. Good luck with that. I've never felt this nervous in this competition. I'm my pants right now. It's time to head to your stations, please. Let's go. You have 90 minutes to bake us one stunning lemon meringue pie without the lemon. In front of you, you all have the same exact ingredients. You will also have access to a not-so-limited, limited pantry where you will find a variety of citrus fruits. Your 90 minutes starts now. Food process. OK, you have 90 minutes to create the pie, crust, curd, and meringue. How do you divide up your time? So the first 15 minutes would be making the crust, getting that set. After that, I would put on my citrus fruit to reduce down to start making the curd. But you've got to get that balance between the curd and the sweetness and the meringue as well. The egg white can stay right at the last minute. With 10 minutes to go, you guys, can start with. Guys, I didn't say anything. I was watching in, in, in the bathroom. No, nope, your uh, meringues. Jordan, hey, sure. what flavor are you making? I'm gonna do a uh, key lime and uh, regular lime uh, curd for the pie. Chrissy's right above you. She's the reason why you're down here. I find it pretty hypocritical that she gave me such a hard time. Yeah. She didn't know how it is to be in the hot seat, and she talks a big talk, but then she gets in the hot seat and shuts her ass up, and that's that's what I expected to happen. Guys, please get your pastry in the oven. All right, James, pastry's not in the She's oven a, yet. Yeah. Why not? Get sure. a rolling pin to put it in right now, chef. Hurry up, let's go. You've got to get that in the oven. Hey, Beamy. What's going on, guys? Your first meringue pie? Yes, sir. I'm making a lime meringue pie. Don't let that break, Beamy. No, definitely not, chef. Careful, careful. What in the hell? What the f am I doing? <laughs> this is too soft. I have my cornstarch in there, and I'm whisking, whisking, and I'm looking down, and I'm thinking, this curd is not thickening up yet. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Lady, it's like, lady, who the fuck are you? We haven't seen you as soon as, lady, lady, you're so fucking boring. We haven't seen you since episode one. And even then, we saw your hair and that's it. Who the fuck even are you? Fucking shit. Oh my God. The curd is still Wait, watery. It's not the consistency I'm looking for, but I'm thinking, let me put this in the refrigerator, then hopefully it'll, it'll get some thickness to it because I got to start working on this meringue. Look at this. So I start working on this meringue, and I pick up the, the cream of tartar to put into my uh, meringue. Oh, shit. And when I look, I realize this is cornstarch. This is why my curd didn't come together. Exactly what I want to happen is happening. And I'm loving every minute of it. Bye, baby. Fifteen minutes to go, okay, guys. Okay, now I'm not molding it. I used to like her. Fuck that. Fuck, fuck her. Put a heap of cream of tartar instead of cornstarch. Oh, my God. Oh, I pick up the, the cream of tartar to put into my meringue, and when I look, I realize this is cornstarch. This is why my curd didn't come together. But the only way you lose is if you give up on yourself. I'm not giving up without a fight. She saved Natasha. 
OK, Bethy? Yeah, feeling yep. good. My crust is a little buttery than I wanted. Yeah, the pastry looked raw. Was it raw? Um, it was cooked, but maybe I should have cooked it a little bit longer. But that feels wet there, so be oh, very, very careful. Too late. What very is he doing? Let's go, guys. But this time, your pie should be in the oven and that meringue baking. Wait, wait, I'm gonna... She's about to pour a thing in. He comments on the, uh, on the pie and, sh and she, just, she doesn't stop. What? In the oven. Now, it. Perfect timing. James, you have to be very careful here. He's leaving all of his to the last minute. James, you're not leaving yourself any time to bake the meringue in the oven. I'm really cutting myself pretty short. No time, there is time. Last two minutes, guys. 60 seconds to go. What is James doing? What is he waiting for? 10, 9, 8, 7. I'm running out of time, but I don't have any options. I'm trying to fix it, so I'm torching, but my pie looks like Six, Ooh. five, oh, oh shit! Three, two, yeah. oh, what the fuck? And stop! Chrissy, well, I don't know about from the crust, though. up there in the gallery, what do you think? Exactly what I wanted to happen happened. That was a very tough pressure test. Three very difficult, demanding stages that you need to nail every step of the way, 100%. All four of you, please bring them down to the front. Yeah. On top, the pie looks OK, but I know on the inside that dough is not cooked, the egg whites are not perfect, and Wait there's definitely not enough curd in there. I might be going home today. So, what's the flavor? Uh, blood orange and lime. Why those two? Well, I wanted to kind of mix the flavors up between the two and find something that was sweet and tart, and I figured the blood orange and lime would be a good combo. So just take a look under there. See that damp patch? So that is a raw pie crust on the bottom. It went straight through it. Yikes. Blood orange is very overpowering. It's a super strong taste. Are you kidding me? Way insufficient curd. It doesn't look that bad. The pastry doesn't taste too bad, but your saving grace there is the curd. That actually tastes quite nice. Egg white, not cooked all the way. Yeah. What happened there? Ran out of time. Just needed five more minutes. This is not impressive at all. Oh. Very disappointing. Hi, Betty. Hey. What's going through your mind right now? I'm disappointed in my outcome. I hope I don't leave from it. Yeah, but, I mean, visually beautiful. We'll see. It should be making a nice crunch as it goes through. I've never successfully made anything like this before, so... I mean, obviously, you still haven't. Losing its structure. I like the done. actual flavor of the curd with the tanginess, but now, if this is your foundation, it falls like a deck of cards, or in this case, a lime meringue pie. All right. Badly thought out. The pastry's raw there. I knew you were <laughs> the minute you put that curd on top of a raw pastry. Yeah. What a mess. That is the grossest pie I've ever seen in my life. I'm probably going home tonight. All right, Jordan, what is it? Uh, I did the regular lime and some key limes to balance out the acidity Sheesh, of the regular lime. Fish, it's... Looks the prettiest. The pastry looks kind of raw, though. The crust a little thin and raw, but yeah. it's still kind of held together pretty Called good. It. I like your curd a lot. It's got the right texture. Jordan looks like a Minecraft villager now, Tizzy Cat. It's definitely the best I'm cake sure. I've tasted so far. I was giddy like a little schoolgirl when I saw you pulling this out of the oven. Because, I mean, look at the curd. That's nice and even. It's like the height that it's supposed to be. 
Look at it though, it adds structure. It's not bad. The curd's got a great texture. A little sweet, but good job. Okay, be me. I'm completely fearing elimination right now. Bottom line, it comes down to whether Beamy royally screwed up or not. Oh, Beamy. Wow. Oh, wow. Fuck, man. Beamy, come on, man. You guys, he did pretty good, right? You guys, he okay. did pretty good. Beamy. Yes, yeah, Chef. If he goes home with Chris, this dude, oh, like, be motherfucker, me. man. Look at her wow. face up there, man. What's the flavoring? The flavoring is, um, is lime. Lime? Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, man. I mean, what have you done here? Huh? Oh, okay, 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 just... Well, I mean... Car didn't set, didn't... Okay. <laughs> You've been to a cocktail bar, right? Cheers, good health. Oh. He's gonna spit it back in. Spit it. Me. Oh, shit. <laughs> what is that in there? What's the grainy bits? Cream of tartar. <laughs> yeah, I messed up. I grabbed the wrong thing and I just started throwing it in there. What are you trying to do, kill us? In the recipe, it's like a teaspoon. How many tablespoons? Like. Almost like 10. I was 10. Because I'm like, time is running out, then. Time's running out? Yeah. Something's running through my <laughs> mouth. Oh, come on, man. Don't do them like that. I messed up, man. It was a mistake. It was something stupid I did. Come on. Embarrassing, man. Time to watch. No, it's not. <laughs> come on. Oh, four of you, just give us a moment, please. Thank you. I can say sorry, man. I feel your pain. Right. Jordan's the best. Clearly. Mm -hmm. the best. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, I don't know about Betty's. Her pastry was real. Weepy I mean, and, yeah, the curd really was kind of busted. Well, the curd didn't taste anything. It had no identity. Well, no flavor. Really you wouldn't have known what it was. You, you close your eyes and said, what does that taste like? Sweet, 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 sweet pudding. At least James went out of the box and did blood orange. Mm -hmm. it's true, actually. Yeah. You ready? Jordan, step forward, please. We saw you handle He's pressure chilling. in a way that outshone your fellow competitors. Make your way upstairs, please. Thank you. Well done. Take your apron off. James. It step was terrible, forward, but it was not the worst. That's one of the worst dishes cooked in this competition so far. Your saving grace tonight, young man, is that there were two worse pies than yours. Upstairs. Yep, knew it. That was horrifying, but I live to fight another day. Bethy, be me. He's content, though. This is really difficult. You both are talented home cooks, without a doubt, let me tell you. He's content, though. Be me. Sure, it's time, up. young man, to take that apron off and leave the MasterChef competition. You good, girl. No, man. Keep being yourself. Fuck! Chrissy! Be me. What the fuck? Listen carefully. No, 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 no. I'm ranting now. I'm right. Chrissy, motherfucker? She's, she's in the pressure test three, four times in a row. Why? Why? Because her team loses. Now her team has one saving grace, one meal, part of the challenge that they could have won on. It's the chicken. He did the chicken. All the votes, he was the chicken. And what'd she do? What'd she do? She puts her him down and her up. Trash. This is you dog shit content. Actual dog the shit script. And the Bullshit, level man. of excitement that you gave us oh, has been extraordinary. You shouldn't be leaving and this she, competition and, tonight. And she says, three episodes earlier, she says, it. Um, if you live in my neighborhood and you pull that shit, you get your ass beat. Shut the fuck. Fuck up! Man, yeah, it's so fucking hypocrite, so man. So you walk out this kitchen, you keep your head up high, and you follow your dream. Got it? Yes, chef. Good man. Oh, man. Come here, you. 
Now we'll lose content. Thank you, everyone. That was a pleasure, man. It was a pleasure. I'm very happy with the results. Mission accomplished. For me to make this dumb mistake, it's cost me this competition. And it's like, I let the judges down, you know? That's the worst part. But um, the dream definitely doesn't die here. <laughs> I'm leaving with the belief and the tools to become something special. I think that my daughters are going to be proud of their daddy. That's all I'm I want. proud of you, man. I'm glad that I, that I did good for them, you know what I mean? Next time on MasterChef. No, I'm done.